So welcome back everyone. I hope you're having a nice Labor Day weekend. It really starting to feel like fall around here and that kind of gets me excited to, to get started, get things put away and uh, going through and getting all the tools all sorted out and my axes and oiled up and sharpened and all of the stuff that goes along in the homestead. I was kind of curious to see what type of an edge we could put on an axe uh, with a Russian knife sharpener. And as you see, um, almost too sharp. Uh, I, even at the, when, when I first started at the one, at the 120 grit or so, I had the, the ax just sitting on the block here and I just, just touched it, just pressed up against it and it laid my arm open. And that was, that was the 120. So you can only imagine uh, how sharp it is uh, right now. So since we're all here together, I thought it might be a good time to do manly manners. So we haven't done manly manners for a couple days. So Manly Manners, if you're just joining us, is this little book that was written in 1913, Don'ts for Husbands, and we're slowly plotting our way through it, hoping to glean some good advice for uh, happy, happy marriages, happy relationships. See, Sweet Loaf has been gooing up my glasses here. All right, so Manly Manners, we're on page three, tells us this. Don't stoop, even if your work is desk work. Your wife wants to see you straight and broad-chested. Don't slouch. No one cares for a man. No one cares for a man likes no one who cares for a man likes to see him acquire a slouching habit. Man, I'll tell you what. That's something that is really was really drilled into me from my dad um, and I have done the same thing to Jack and it's something that's positively missing in a lot of men. Just next time you go out especially uh, younger men, um, you know, up in the 30s, you know, I mean, a lot of, you see this a lot in the cities. You see uh, these guys that have horrible posture. Their, their uh, shoulders are, are hunched in and they're, they're looking down. And it's, it's almost like they're trying to protect, protect themselves. And even when they sit, look in, you'll see when they sit in restaurants and whenever they become nervous or uncomfortable, uh, you'll see them cross their legs and, and come in. What that is, that's, I mean, that's really a sign of a beta man, of a beta male um, trying to protect himself, trying to not be a threat. And I don't think that they do this consciously. I just, I don't know what it is. I, I maybe, I, I don't necessarily think it's their fault. I think it is that they probably were raised um, w without a father in the home, uh, without a, an, or, or without a strong, a strong man in the home. A confident man, um, a masculine man, doesn't go around flexing like, a, like an idiot um, or rolling up his sleeves and, and walking around, you know, and, and looking at himself in the mirror. That's, that's almost, that's just as bad on the flip side. A confident man is, is, is broad-chested, meaning um, shoulders back, arms up, not, not over hyperextending to make yourself look like an idiot, uh, but, but confident, head up, looking people in the eyes, engaging with people, a firm step, um, a confident manner, a confident demeanor, a strong, firm handshake, uh, it go, it, it's incredible. Um, you'll, when you sit, uh, you know, you'll see a confident man will sit and, and he'll, he'll be expanded, his arms will be out gesticulating usually legs apart rather than just the opposite of folded and, and all, all of these things. So that may not seem like a big deal, but especially if you're trying to make yourself presentable or attractive to, to the opposite sex. Um, you don't want to be that, that beta man. You don't want to be you know, afraid of everything. You, you don't want to be a macho idiot either, but you want to be confident, stand up straight and, and a straight back and, and a good posture and, and that eye contact when you're sitting, you know, and, and it's, so it's, that's, that's a, that's an important thing. Um, not only for, not only for attracting, a, you know, a suitable mate, but as well as, um, uh, for work. Uh, if you are applying for something, you know, that, that is, uh, you know, sales or something, you know, kind of an aggressive, maybe type of a, of a job, you know, present yourself that present yourself well. Um, don't don't to fold up and don't protect yourself like a like a wounded animal, um, but be confident and be masculine, be strong. So I think that that's that's good advice. Manly manners, manly manners is coming through for us. We can check that one off. All right. Well, if you enjoy these videos, uh, I invite you to uh, subscribe, of course, and click the thumbs up if you haven't already. We appreciate that and. Monday, what are you guys doing on Labor Day? We were thinking about, uh, we've worked all day today uh, so that we could have a maybe half a day off tomorrow. Um, Mrs. W and I went down into town and we got some used kiteboarding gear. So we're gonna, 
We're going to head on down to the river, hopefully tomorrow if there's wind. We need about uh, 15 to 25 miles an hour wind. Um, and if we do that, we'll take you, we'll take you along and you can watch, uh, you can watch me fail at that, but uh, I'll do my best. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.